Okay, now I want to talk about a geometric series. So this is the same thing, you know, it's, it's geometric in form, so it follows the same pattern that I'm multiplying every term by the same number to get to the next, but it's a series, so I'm adding them up after that. Now the thing about geometric, though, when you're finding the sum of geometric series, is you can find the sum of a uh, finite geometric series or the sum of an infinite geometric series. Now, you can only find the sum of an infinite geometric series if the common ratio, the absolute value, I should say, of the common ratio is less than 1. If the common ratio, um, if the absolute value of the common ratio is greater than 1, then I cannot do the infinite case. It has to be finite. Now, let me write my formulas. This is the sum of the first n terms of a finite geometric series, which is a1 times 1 minus r to the n all over 1 minus r. Sn, you know, is the sum. So let me write this out. The sum of the first. So this is the sum of the first n terms. You know that r is your common ratio, n is your term number, and a1 is your first term. If it is infinite, though, the sum in general of the infinite case of every single term, if it continues forever, is a1 over 1 minus r. So let's see the, the difference here, okay? Now, this example, find the sum of the first 12 terms of the geometric sequence. Now, let's say, let's assume they didn't tell you it was geometric. 3, 6, 12, 24, you know, how do you know that it is geometric? Well, what are you doing to each term? I'm multiplying each term by 2 to get to the next one, which means that it's geometric. The common ratio is 2. The first term, a1, is 3. So if I want the sum of the first 12 terms, what I want is S12, right? So I'm doing the sum of a finite geometric, this is a finite geometric series. I want the first 12 terms. Okay, so what I want to find is the sum of the first 12 terms. So I want S12 for a finite geometric series. I want this, A1 times 1 minus R to the N over 1 minus R. So a1 we determine is 3, r is 2, and therefore the n is equal to 12 because I want the sum of the first 12 terms. So s12 for a finite geometric series, this particular finite geometric series, um, I want um, a1, which is 3, times 1 minus r, r is 2, to the n, which is 12, over, all over, 1 minus r. S12 is equal to. So what I like to do with my order of operations, I do what's in the parentheses first. You could kind of, you know, plug that into your calculator straight. 1 minus 2 to the 12. Then multiply that by 3, and then divide that by technically, in this case, negative 1. So for this case, I got 12 to 85, or 12,285. Okay, let's look at this, um, this case. Now, this is summation notation, if you recall. Um, this is the sum, uh, let me make this a little bigger. This is the sum of some type of sequence. I don't know what it is yet, we'll see. Starting from one, going to 10 for this particular formula. So let's, you know, let me find the first couple of uh, terms and see like what kind of pattern it follows. So when i is equal to one, I have five times two to the one. That's my first term. Plus, because it's a series, right? Because I'm summing. When i is equal to 2, I have 5 times 2 to the 2. When i is equal to 3, I'm going to add that. I have 5 times 2 to the 3rd. And, you know, you kind of see just based on how it looks that it is geometric, but I'll keep going. Um, when i is equal to 10, and you'll get better with recognizing that as you practice enough. 5 times 2 to the 10. So let's see what it is when I simplify this. So this, so exponents first. So this is 5 times 2 is 10, plus 4 times 5 is 20, plus 8 times 5 is 40, <laughs> plus, and this one is 2 to the 10th, I'm just going to cheat, do that on my calculator, 2 
raised to the 10th power, then times 5, is 5,120. So this is the first term, second term, third term, all the way to the, in this case, 10th term. And I want the sum of these, because that's what this says to do. Find the sum of all the terms with this formula starting at 1, continuing up until 10 by integers. Now, I don't know, what I could do is I could write out all 10 terms and then add them up. Or I can say, well, look at this pattern. Each term is getting multiplied by 2 to get to the next one. So that means that it's geometric. It's a geometric series. Not every situation is going to be geometric or arithmetic, but, you know, we're practicing them for now. If it's not, then I might have to actually do the first 10 terms and, you know, add them all up. But this is geometric. And what that means is I want the sum of the first 10 terms of this particular geometric series. Now, the common ratio is equal to 2, and the first term is equal to 10. And because the common ratio is 2, and because I'm dealing with the first 10 terms, I'm dealing with a finite geometric series, and I want the sum of the first 10 terms, the sum of the first n terms of a geometric series. So a1, which is 10, times 1 minus r, which is 2 to the n, which I want is to the 10th, all over 1 minus r, and then simplify. So again, I'm going to do 2 to the 10th first, or 1 minus 2 to the 10th, Multiply that by 10, then divide by negative 1. I get 10, 2, 3, 0, 10,230.